Hi guys. Uh, good job, Hack, Kitty, and Christian. Thank you so much for partaking in the puzzle. Today I am in the giraffe because yes, it's very cold and um, you know, cold. Always the foliage. Every time. Always the foliage. So what I am, thank you for that lurk, Daniel. Thank you. <laughs> giraffe turn. So what I am doing is, I don't know, I don't know, I don't, I know that you guys voted on unpicking the apron, but I'm like, my pancreas is full and I remembered my meds. To be fair, I am like a whole hour late, which is just, just unaccept, I should, <laughs> y'all should just fire me from this job, really. Um, I don't deserve to be in this position. I should be replaced by someone with like work ethic, you know? So, what I'm currently trying to decide is whether I give up entirely <laughs> on the, whether I give up entirely on the goddamn um, skirt for now and just start with the bib thing, or, I mean, this is a hard one. I can't I can't work out how exactly I wanna do this. Tail is the same for me, did you leave it the same on the purpose? Oh, oh, I forgot to change it. I think I think I accidentally put the stream title in the um what's it called? The announcement. It's fine, just leave it, it's whatever. Anyway. No giving up on the apron. Uh, I'm just so kinda over it, you know. I'm a I'm definitely a little bit over it. Um Especially since I tried it on with a skirt yesterday and I realized that fuck I actually haven't gathered the skirt enough and that I'm going to have to do it more. So now I am in that position where yeah, I just I have to unpick the skirt from the waistband entirely when I've so so nicely finished the whole thing off and um, I have to re-sew it onto the, yeah, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing, guys. I don't know, I don't know. It's bullshit. Aprons have been deceptively hard. I just, oh, it's so frustrating. That's why I kind of wish I had followed a pattern, but you know what I'm like with patterns, right? You know what I'm like. So I was thinking like, if I do, if I do like the straps first, then, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I was thinking if I do the straps first, then maybe I'll like... I don't know. How did I attach it, the other one? I think I sewed it. I just sewed it through. First I was afraid. I was petrified. I still understand why you have to unpick. So, okay, the issue is that the skirt touches in the back, um, and it shouldn't uh, because my hips are a hundred centimeters around and this fabric is 110 centimeters wide which means that pretty much it's almost like skin tight to my hips right um and if i'm gonna wear a nice flowing skirt underneath it then it's basically gonna be like bolted down to my sides um so that's why i need this to kind of shimmy forwards a little bit i'm thinking of taking maybe three inches off each side. I know I said two inches, but now I'm like second guessing myself. Uh, so I'm thinking of taking like two or three inches, gathering it a little bit tighter to the front and having more of a gap in the back. I think I prefer the no gap in the back, but the problem is that I need to cut more fabric for that and I just didn't, so yeah. Uh, do the big bib first, the unpicking seems less overwhelming, really. Yeah, exactly, I guess so, I guess. I guess so, and I can do the bib, I just, kind of have to work out what I'm doing. I already um, did a, a rolled hem. I already did a rolled hem on the overlocker. It's still not very good. It just kind of doesn't, it doesn't want to roll the fabric, you know? It just, it just kind of overlocks it a little bit, but whatever. Anyway, so I've done that. So that's going to get inserted here. It's kind of a big ruffle. No, I think it'll be all right. It's like, that's kind of a big ruffle. Um, I think it'll be, yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. And yeah, that's gonna go down the side, that's gonna go there. I um, don't know how much I'm going to condense it, but the first thing is first anyways, I have to sew the straps 
to the... Yeah, okay, okay. I need to I need to sew the straps to the bib first. Straps goes to bib, and then I will continue from there. I've got my lace. Got my lace. It'll be full with a wider gap on the back. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. What Christian says. It's already the full width of fabric. How is it possible to a full skirt with no seam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What Christian says. What he says. Alright, now. Uh, what I gotta do? Um, I'm unpicking this. Um, my hair is really, really oily today, which is why I put my hair up in a ponytail. I think it, you know, <laughs> makes me look like a doofus, but it's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Whatever, Trevor. I'm thinking, like, instead of putting a... Instead of just making a new piece of fabric to enclose this with, I'm just gonna, like, double sew this down and then put, like, a little strip of... Oh, can I? Can I? Should I? Can I? Maybe if I just overlock it and then I just kind of... And then I just, you know... I can overlock it. I did set my overlocker back to overlock, so... I had to see it to understand what you're talking about. Yeah, the, that visual brain thing, right? The visual brain. Um, Alright, let me have a look. So, I've got... I have a ruler anywhere. How are you guys going today, by the way? I, um... Oh, it feels like... It feels like a long time since I've seen you. I had barely any break yesterday. I was running around like a... Like a headless chicken trying to arrange stuff. Um... It just... It wasn't good. It wasn't good. <laughs> All right, three and a half. Three and a half. <laughs> three and a half, so if I put the, that bib is going to be, it's gonna be low enough, so that's nice. I, yeah, okay, I think I'm just gonna overlock it and then, yeah, I'm so lazy. I don't wanna line anything and stuff, you know? Emma, hi, how's it going? <laughs> my worrying friend. Very concerned about Emma. Uh, my niece is going to come piss it and bring me a sewing machine, but now she's not coming. Oh, did she? Is it because she decided that she wanted the sewing machine, or is it just because she decided she didn't like you? Like, what's what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? And I said, hey. I have overlocked it. There we are. That's this point of having an overlocker. You don't overlock it. No personal issues in her end. Wait, in her end? <laughs> She's seeing a doctor about that? You really don't want personal issues in your end. That's, uh... You've got to avoid that wherever possible. Personal issues in your end? Is she having, is she having enough fiber? Is she having enough fiber? That's a poor joke. That's a really bad joke, and I'm sorry. All right, okay. I'm going to cut that. There we are. Now I'm going to attach this. I gotta maybe pin it. Maybe I pin it like horizontally or something, right? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> ah, it was a busy day, Coco, and I took Maddie to a doctor's appointment and then park for a session with a client. The park? There was a session with a client in the park. It's going to be a second trip to the doctor's office. This one over on much better. So some fine tuning to do. It's awesome to see progress. What kind of fine tuning? Like, hopefully no barking at the doctor. Fuck you! Leave my leave my woman alone. <laughs> hopefully no uh, no barking or yelling or carrying on. Um. Oh god. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I need to like. I stick this down. Maybe I kind of glue based the back of it, right? I just already has a song I've seen she, she could use that one. That's fair. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Where is my glue? Where is my glue? I never know where anything is. Set the email to the guy thing now we wait. I'm so concerned. I'm so concerned. We are uh, at work, we've been um, asked to fill in like an anonymous like user survey about um, you know like what it's like working there sort of thing and I haven't even filled that out just because like 
It's never anonymous. It's never anonymous. It's never anonymous. And I don't want to rock the boat because I know I've been there for like six months already, but the less I rock the boat, the more secure my job's gonna be. The wedding march, that's hilarious. Hey, I told you, I would find I would find some kind of accordion uh, cover to play today. Mandy can't drive right now and it's against confidentiality for me to drop her off at a client's house so she's been doing. Oh, that's kind of nice. Like, that's kind of that's kind of sweet, you know? I don't trust those anonymous stories. They're definitely not anonymous. They are 100% not anonymous. Like, 100% I don't believe them at all. I don't believe them at all. I'm like, I, look, I... I have been enough, like, trouble for employers that I just, I don't trust any of the systems anymore, you know? You know? It's, it's part of being on the spectrum, but also, like, as part of that, thankfully, I've learned from past experience, like, just, you know, avoid rocking the boat where possible. Never rock the boat. Nobody likes someone who rocks the boat. Uh, the this, this shit I have to do to, like, fit in with society. Uh, it's exhausting. It's, I'm just tired. <laughs> just so tired. I'm exhausted. Uh, it gave Coco some long lead time at the park, which is nice after a good doctor's trip. That's nice. Does Sadie come along as well? I'm guessing not. I'm guessing not. Never any, never any nice time for my girl Sadie. Poor Sadie, being abused basically. Basically abused. Actually, the guy my manager gave me the info for, he seemed genuinely interested in what I had to say, and I've got two managers. They've been with the company for four years. Well, think, fingers crossed it stays like that. The only way they can be guaranteed not is if they're on paper and they get turned in via a lockbox. Yeah, yeah, that as well. However, I have noticed that some people will, um, what's it called again? They will uh, analyze fucking handwriting. They'll be like, oh, this this person's handwriting right here. Yeah, so I'm just like, oh, I am, I'm super jaded. I am super jaded. You know? Like they will, they will pretend to like you up until the very end, and you'll be you'll be packing your bags, and you'll still be convinced that they were on your side. Don't trust management at all. Don't trust management. And again, I'm very, I'm very jaded, and uh, it's just, it's been, it's been a hard work life. It has been a hard work life. Just thinking about matching handwriting. If you type it, I guess that's different. But yeah, Fox, how's it going today? How's it going? Are you a shit stirrer? Do you sh stir shit at your office? <laughs> Are you a shit stirrer? All my, all my shit stirrers in chat. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Oh god, okay. Alright, I am kinda, I'm kinda getting there. Kinda getting there. I'm just, I need to make sure that I'm catching this goddamn hemline. I'm doing glue basting again because I can't really be bothered fiddling with pins. Can't be bothered fiddling with pins. Mom's come back from Croatia, so I visited her yesterday. So that was exciting. Um, she cleared out Grandma's apartment. She's thrown out most of Grandma's possessions. So that's always, you know, that's always fun. Um, and so, yeah, and she, yeah, that's, yeah, it's it's been a thing. There is fun though, I found out on Ty Store hates on your assistant manager. Stay away from gossip! Stay away from gossip! My god! My god! Stay away from it! <laughs> Block curious and go la 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 every time you hear it. <laughs> so paranoid, just so paranoid. Uh, did she like her gift? She loved her gift. She cried. She loved it. Alex left it for her on her computer table. Um, and when she saw it, she was like, she told me that she was really, really happy with it and she loved it. So I'm really glad. I'm glad I went through all that effort to kind of like frame it. I've like framed it really nicely and everything. You know? And I'm glad I went through that effort. So yeah, there you go. There you are. And it only took me like two nights. It was like the shortest cross stitch ever. I was going to do another cross stitch today, but you bastards decided you'd rather see me sweat over this stupid apron, which I hate. <laughs> I hate this apron. This apron angers me. I hate it so much. Hey, Mira, how's it going today? 
how are you? I noticed that you broke your, uh, what's it called again? Your, what is it? Is it like a creative block? It's not writer's block, it's like sewing block. Sewing block, you broke it, you broke it. You're back to sewing now. Uh, the fine tuning cooker had a starter us once and barked once. Oh, jeez. Jeez. I stopped as soon as I said no and only moved forward a bit. Of course, okay, long term. Manny's doctor loves dogs, so she was very cool. That's, um, oof. Poor Coco. Poor Coco. What can we say? We fasted to enjoy this suffering. I I am so scared. You know, I have I have like such panic response whenever I hear people causing trouble at work or anything like that. You know? Trust me, I've been let go from enough places that I'm just kinda like, you know. Hi Holly, how are you? I've just been feeling like it lately, but the drive is back. Yes! You can finally make my slopers. I am really, really excited for you to make those slopers. I'm like I'm possibly more excited than you are, uh, not gonna lie. I, I am possibly more excited than you are. <laughs> you could not be as excited as I am about you making your slopers, so... Sadie had to stay home. Oh, oh, she agrees she's being abused. Did leave her with a stuffed Kong. How do you deal with, like, stuffed Kong mess? You know, because, like, I, I can imagine that, like, as soon as you leave, the dog just wants to jump up on the couch or something, you know? Like, I... Uh, young man, lift yourself from the ground, I said, young man. Yeah, I've got, uh, we've got a accordion playlist going on right here. We've got an accordion playlist going on right here. Yeah. You're welcome. I hope everyone enjoys it. Uh, one load of dishes down. Nice. Very nice. I'm very proud of you. I'm so proud of you, Mariah. I'm so proud of you. So proud. Alright, that's... That looks okay. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> that looks okay. I'm gonna have like that, and then I'm gonna have like that, and these are kind of matching. So I just, maybe I'll do a different one. Maybe I'll do a different one. I can't have the elephant. Maybe I can have this elephant. Or there's a sheep there. <laughs> There's probably no, like, difference in what I'm doing, so it doesn't even matter, but, you know. You know me, I'm a bit anal about this stuff. I'm like, I'm very fussy, and still I'm reminded that I need to make that, uh, invisible zipper tutorial, because all over my feed and all over Reddit, I swear I see, like, I see beautiful dresses completely ruined by zippers. Leaving school using my data for <laughs> What a poor choice in what to use your data for. Um, it's because you have class on the stream day so I can listen along my way home. Ah, I see, I see. Once they're done, I'm making a grilled cheese. Oh, delicious. 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 You know, the cons have only gotten messy a couple of times. Sadie doesn't want to keep any treats in her bed or on the floor. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. Evie, she just, like, she takes stuff to the carpet and it's just like, ugh. <laughs> It's, it's not good. Evie, very messy. Daughter graduated preschool. Oh, that's cute. Did they send photos or anything? Did they send photos or anything? This opens a new minky fabric. The fur has <laughs> exploded everywhere. <laughs> minky fabric. I don't, I've never sewn with it, but all I hear from customers is that it's the worst experience imaginable. That's all I ever hear from it. Uh, Gish, hi, how's it going? How are you? I saw uh, someone listing uh, like pet portraits on Etsy and they were using like the same style of embroidery that I saw you doing uh, and I was just kind of like, is that Gish's work? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, I don't know. I don't know. It could be your work. It could have been you. Maybe you have like, a, like an alter ego, you know? Um, it's got a superhero cape and a mask. Oh, so cute. It goes everywhere, man. You're quite very covered in the fibers. That's one of the things that I hate with um, those kind of things. It's just like so much plastic fibers. I swear to God, like soon, soon they're going to find out that the fibers that we get from like polyester clothing, fake fur, stuff like that, they're going to be like, it's going to be like the, you know, the 21st century asbestos, you know? I swear, I swear, it's going to be like letter asbestos. People are going to be like, you know dying over it they're gonna be like oh if only we knew that this is super cancerous these plastic fucking fibers you know not good hello giraffe lady hello pigeon man pigeon dude da -da 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 -da. fibers everywhere unavoidable yeah i, s I swear i swear I swear this is gonna be cancerous 
Not looking forward to that day. I'm really not. <laughs> really not. Especially, you know, as someone who works at a fabric shop. And right now, we currently have a clearance going on, which is all um, clearance fur has been reduced to $5 a meter. And naturally, that means that everybody wants it. So, I uh, don't have an Etsy shop. The last commission went off to its people today, which, uh, and they loved it, which is always a relief. Oh, that's nice. Well, I mean, I had no doubt that they would love it. I mean, I took one look at it and I was like, damn, damn. It was, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. $5 a meter. Yeah, like down from $80, like to $5. Who buys fur at $80 a meter, though? That's insane. That's insane. But yeah, five, five bucks a meter. Five bucks a meter for fur. Absolutely bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. I recently, um, when Sarah comes in, if Sarah comes in today, Sarah's in Brisbane, so that's really exciting. She went to Netherworld yesterday and posted pics on the Discord. Very excited about that, you know. I always, I always really like, like it when, um, oh, actually, should I have done it this way or should I have done it a different way? I'm trying to decide. How should I have done this? I should have definitely done this a different way. That's alright, I've just done it to one size and this is fine. Um, I always get really excited when people go and do things that I have suggested, you know. For sooner suits this season <laughs> in Brisbane. That's yeah. I'm, look, I'm I'm absolutely I'm absolutely expecting that that's going to be the case. Ev like soon, everyone's going to be wearing fur suits. Everyone, you know. My old workplace said I don't even think our most expensive fur was eighty dollars a yard. It's um, it's it's weird. We don't have like it's all plastic fur as well, so it's all like fake fur and. But yeah, I don't know. Lots of lots of people seem to be into it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's why I bought the minky. Will the, will the minky make um make a nice fursuit? suit? It's gonna be cozy. I don't have a spoon to eat my baked beans with. Just open mouth, pour tin in mouth. That's that's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do. Open mouth, pour tin in inside mouth. Okay, that's it's the obvious solution. You're a furry, you're literally in your fursuit. This is a onesie. It's an animal onesie. I'm not sure, I'm not sure that furries would agree that it's quite the same thing. You know? I'm not sure they'd agree. I wouldn't want to offend any of them. Depends on the minky. I think I'll make a tail out of it. It'll be a very cozy tail at least. I love the feel of minky, but man, just sewing it sounds like a nightmare. It's anything like cutting fur. Every time I cut fur for a customer, it's like an explosion of fucking fur. I hate it. I hate it so much. It is the same thing. Yeah. It is? It is? No, it's not. No, it's not. This is my pajamas. <laughs> First two purists who demand you have a Mickey Mouse tattoo. Cost me. Just, I gotta have the helmet as well. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. Albeit, that being said, I do kind of want to wear this out. Like in public. <laughs> I do kind of want to go shopping in a giraffe onesie, you know, like, and for it to be acceptable. I would like that. It would be good. Onesie's the gateway to fursuit. Can you confirm, Fox? Can you, con did it start with, did it start with onesies? Is this La Bamba? Potentially. This is, uh, this is all accordion covers all the time. So y'all are going to be voting on uh, what the next cover is, uh, what the next instrument is going to be later on this stream. What are you hoping for, Emma? What are you hoping for? So I never had one as a kid. Demi goes to a furry con just to wear her first suit. I mean, if I have to. If I gotta. If I gotta be the baby. Um, what am I doing? I am basically sewing this the entire length of this strap as far as I'm, as far as I'm aware. That's pretty much what I'm doing. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, yep. Okay, well, I have. I'm gonna do my Janet Cray thing. This entire strap is gonna be so strappy. People even commission custom ones to look like their first. Oh, really? Oh, that's kind of cute. Good amount of furries have animal onesies. I want to get one for Alex. I want to get like a dinosaur one for Alex. Um, definitely do. Started with animations with anthro animals for me. 
I feel like I used to be more into them when I was like in high school. I, I swear, like I, I was like, I was like fascinated by them. I was fascinated by them. You're off? Alex is off to vote. Don't forget if you're in Australia, you gotta to vote tomorrow or today, you know. Alex is beating the line, so that's why he's doing it today. We are voting number one greens. So that is what we are doing in eh? The Debbie will be a furry and Alex's scheme be interesting. Our love will be pure but forbidden, as far as I know. As far as I know about that subject. Pure, but also forbidden. And a plastic fork. Yay! <laughs> Did you just say buy Alex? Like as in, as in you're gonna purchase Alex, Kitty? Yeah. <laughs> Did you just say buy? Buy? That's funny. Anyway, anyway. I'm gonna go vote, but I'm gonna go vote this afternoon. Um, I still have to buy a present for my best friend. And she's vegan, so I'm thinking that I'm going to buy her some chocolates from uh, one of her favorite vegan shops. I'm gonna buy her, like a bundle. I feel I feel guilty not spending a lot of money on her because uh, because I've made this like freaking baby monitor thing, baby mobile, whatever. I made this baby mobile for my other friend that we don't talk that I don't talk to as much, and now I'm gonna. Have a shitty present for Ellen instead. Like I feel very guilty about it. So that this is this is why you don't craft anything for any friends because it's a gateway, right? It's a, it's a gateway to other people wanting you to, you know. Then then it's like it's always a benchmark, you know. And they're just like, oh, why didn't you make something as good as the other thing? And how much is one, Alex? Ten dollars. I'm tired. Apparently, you should go to bed. You should definitely go to bed. I ain't vegan, Demi, you got this wrong. What do you mean? What do I have wrong? Uh, he built a computer, he has to cost at least 50. <laughs> Obviously much more expensive. He's priceless, okay? He's priceless. Yesterday he had like a little bit of a freak out panic attack. And uh, that's, that's how you know that you love someone because I was watching him almost having a panic attack and I was like on the verge of crying. <laughs> because he, uh, he did something on the computer with uh, I don't, look, I don't know these terms anymore, but it was something to do with like AWS and like pipelines and stuff and he thought that he deleted some kind of partition, um, like terminated some sort of instance uh, that might have, that would have set him back like a month of work and he was all like panicked and freaked out about it and like on the verge of tears and I was just like, I'm just trying to keep it together for him, <laughs> you know? He said your bestie is vegan but I ain't vegan. You're not my bestie. Um, <laughs> what do you mean? Um, I fell headfirst into that gateway, I'm still trying to get out. If you craft for someone, you have to craft for everyone. Yeah, no, don't don't fall into that. Don't fall into that. That's so scary. I know, a month's worth of work. And uh, so I sort of just like sat with him and hugged him until he sorted it out. And thankfully there was like some sort of like a backup thing enabled on, um, on AWS, which means that he didn't actually lose that much work. Um, so, I mean, thank God for that. Thank God for that. Alex costs eight million dollars. That's true, that's true. That's true. I would shit my pants if I deleted anything in an AWS environment. Yeah, he, um, yeah, he said basically crisis averted, but I have to, I have to buy new underwear now. Cause yeah, like it was like a month's worth of work. I was I was kind of worried that he just deleted the entire project he's been working on for like five years, but no, it was just yeah, it was only the threat of a month's worth of, worth of work, which is still like a lot, but you know, um, he did manage to get it back though, thankfully. Um, yeah, so but, but that was yeah, that was touch and go for a minute. It was very scary. Who made these rules about crafting gifts to people seems needlessly stressful. <laughs> I just feel like it's an expectation, you know, like a societal expectation. Uh, it is needlessly stressful. It really is. It really is. I don't, I just, I don't want anyone to expect anything from me, okay? Don't expect anything from me. I'm very, I'm just, <laughs> I'm not a good person to get things from, okay? I'm not a good person. I don't know what, but I would like to know so I can try and talk them out of it. Eat the expectations. No, it's just like, 
now I feel kind of, oh god, I don't have any water in this. I don't have any water in this. I need to put some water in here. I say Walker's messages. When I said you could be so private. That's right, and you do get those. You do get those. Uh, there we are. There we are. I still have two glasses of water around the place, so. Everyone drinks. Oh my god, I don't even have any water. I don't even have any water. I'll take one of these glasses out of my room. I've got several glasses in my room. I just did a podcast keep mentioning it dresses that sewing gives to friends, which makes the point that most people aren't keeping track of what you're giving to others. You think so? Oh my god, Alex, thank you so much! Five months, holy cow! Wait, how have you only been here for five months? How have you only been here for five months? Feels like you've been here for like seven years. How have you only been here for five months? Honestly, I haven't even streamed for seven years and it feels like you've been here for seven years. Yeah. Alright, I will get some water from somewhere. <laughs> what the hell was that? What the hell was that? What are you doing? What you doing over there? <laughs> Ariana, hey! How's it going? I'm going to just give me one second. I'm gonna. done that well before stream but I put dry shampoo in my fringe because it's annoying the piss out of me um it was Jess no 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 it was Jess you you should know by now whenever there's shenanigans it's always Jess it's always Jess every time always with the shenanigans all right every time shenaniganing all over the place <laughs> don't pork at me <laughs> Uh, would you would you cut that out would you cut that out would you cut that out oh my god what am I doing I completely pressed the wrong button what are you people doing stop it cut it out cut it out all right um all right now Okay, I am just kind of ironing this flat. This is a little bit trickier than it needs to be. <laughs> I've complicated this so much, guys. It's just the sheer complexity of this shit. Oh god, oh Welcome god, to I forgot. Home. I wanted to show you guys what- Oh my god! Elora K! Oh my god, Raid! Thank you so much for that, Raid! My hair is a mess right now. I'm just gonna- ugh. That is much worse. Hi guys, how's it going? Thanks for following so much, Alora. Um, please ignore the please ignore the fringe. Um, <laughs> that way, here's my sewing machine, guys. Here's my sewing machine. Sweet haircut. Thank you. I grew it myself. I put dry shampoo in my hair because I thought it would fix it, and then I tried to fix it before you came in, so I would you know look good in front of you guys, and I completely failed that one. So. Yeah, how are you guys going today? How was the stream? Hair looks fabulous. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, I um, I really needed to fix it before stream, and not during. Probably uh, was a poor, poor choice right there. What were you up to on your stream, Alora? What were you up to? And yes, here's my sewing machine. Um, Alora redeemed that way. She makes the face cam go that way. <laughs> you look great constantly without trying. Do I though? Do I though? Uh, Jaybird, thank you for that follow. I really appreciate that. I, yes, definitely, totally. That is a nice sewing machine there. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, for more of this chaos, please. My hair is not chaos. It's just, it's just temporarily unsettled right now, okay? Just kind of... You gotta, the thing with the dry shampoo, you gotta kind of like massage it in, because it actually acts like shampoo, so... A lot, of, a lot of people know this, so 
I'm just, I'm just trying to fix it. Um, at the moment, it's not working well. All right, all right. Hang on. I think just let me. <laughs> Fatzilla, thank you so much. I love with your sewing machine. Thank you. It's from like 1950. I want to say six. I don't remember anymore. I don't remember. I remember the previous one because it was my favorite vintage year, but not this one. So, gotta go have a nice stream. Don't worry. See you later, Holly. See you on the Discord. The shampoo is for the scalp, not for the hair. Shh. Shh. I'm trying my best, okay? I'm trying my best. All right, there. Now the fringe looks acceptable, so it's all right now. It's okay. Now it looks fine. I don't feel greasy anymore. Anyways, today we are making a uh, apron, so... Hey! we thank you so much for that follow! You guys are so sweet, your community is so lovely. What were you up to on your stream, Melora? What were you up to? Did you already answer? You did not already answer. Also, hi goat. Hi goat! And Naki, thank you so much for that follow! Oh, your community is so nice. Oh, I'm really chuffed, so nice. An apron for a fursona. Yeah, absolutely, totally. Not not an apron for work, just an apron for a fursona. Anyway, so it's coming, it's coming together. It's coming together. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully coming together. I need I need ruffles though. I need a, a fuck ton of ruffles. I need a fuck ton of ruffles. A fuck ton of ruffles. I need a fuck ton of ruffles. I really like this fabric, like I am. Um, really enjoying it. I'm really very much enjoying it, so I'm glad that I picked this one. I knew as soon as I saw it. Hopefully it goes well with like the um, the black, uh, what should I call it, the black work uniform that I have. Because it's hard, you gotta, you gotta find something that looks cute but also goes well with black. And it's like, uh, every day we ruffle in. Metric or Imperial fuck ton? Wait, are there different tons? Is there an Imperial ton and a metric ton? I never even thought about that. Is there actually? Is there actually? We will never find out what Alora did on that stream. Never! Never! I'm so disappointed. Just wanted to know. Just wanted to know. Now I'll for forever live in the mystery. Forever bask in the mystery. Mysterious Alora. The elusive Alora. Imperial ton is 2,000 pounds. What the fuck is a- What the fuck is a pound? Is that- Does that mean like- Four- Like, does that mean 4,000 kilos? Approximately? Wait. No, it's the opposite way. It's like 1,000. Oh, wait, no, it's the same! It's basically the same. It's almost the same. It's all- It's like a- It's like a really weird number. It's almost the same. <laughs> See, I know stuff about numbers. I know stuff about numbers. I am well learned in this in this area. I am well learned. Alright. Alright, cool. I am okay with that. Just kinda trying to iron this to make it sit properly, right? We got accordion. <laughs> Such a debate last time. We do have accordion. And see it's not it's not as bad as I'm sure most of you were hoping for. It's not quite as bad. We're gonna be doing a vote on which instrument to play next stream soon. So, uh, stay tuned for that. We should probably do another poll soon. That's right. And we'll, we'll work out what instrument to play for the next one. I'm kind of enjoying this, to be honest. Before I would just play like a, like a random playlist that I just generically wanted, but this seems so much more fun to me. <laughs> this seems way more fun to me, you know? Uh, Laura was making a hat for a friend. It was a pirate cat. Like a wait, a pirate hat or a pirate cat, or a, or a, or a hat for a pirate cat. There are so many options. Uh, I see it's a zoo in here today. It is a little bit. Yeah, we got some animals. We got. Yeah, I am an animal. Sad I miss Kalimbra. I ended up going to a friend's house for the night. That's what happens when you miss a carbon chic stream. A hat for a pirate cat. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> um, that's awesome. <laughs> I can't I can't even imagine how that is, but uh, that sounds pretty cool. That sounds pretty cool. Hand pan. Hand pan violins. Everyone figure out what instruments you want to hear. I do like violins. What um what instruments would you like to play for next stream? 
Because what we're gonna do a like a quick poll in chat about what what kind of instruments you want to hear next stream, and then and then we're gonna do an official voting poll. So just uh, put all of your instrument choices in chat, please. And you can obviously still do, we can still do repeats. So, you know, if you really want to hear bagpipes again, we can do bagpipes. So, we crave violins. So, like a project we would do a little bit, yeah. I love Weeb. I felt so sad that I couldn't stay at the raid last time. We raided Weeb next door last time, and uh, I had to immediately run to work afterwards. So, it was very, it was very bad. Pick the hat, pan. Well, we may just have to pick the hand pan if nobody else in chat tells me what uh, what instrument they want. We may we may as well have to pick the hand pan. <laughs> uh, we crave violins. I I really enjoy violins as well. Violins kind of make me sleepy though, so there's there's always that downside. There's always that downside. Ugh, I'm just trying to finger press this closed now. Finger pressed all of this closed. I'm gonna have to do a ruffle, which means I'm gonna have to get my gathering, my gathering on. I don't know whether to gather via um, overlocker or whether to gather via uh, hand gathering. I'm very, I'm very torn on this. The overlocker stuff just seems so much easier right now. The only thing is, I'm not 100% certain how the function of that works. You know. Here we go with the hurdy gurdy. That's a true pan flute or heart? Hurdy gurdy again. <laughs> I had to double take. Y'all are obsessed with the hurdy gurdy. I like this is is this healthy, the amount of obsession you people have for the hurdy gurdy? Violin because I'm biased. Do you play the violin, Haley? Do you play the violin? Because it's enjoy violence. Violence. Who doesn't enjoy a little bit of violence every now and again, huh? Who doesn't enjoy that? Alright, there is my apron. I've got I've got a nice yellow stain on the uh, on the trim right here, which is great. Oh, I love my neighbor. She's just she's currently out there like raking my lawn. I love her, she's great. She's nice. She's definitely gonna vote right wing this election, but she's still she's still a nice person, so. You can't, you know, you can't, you can't win them all. You can't win them all. Uh, it's a fun turn of phrase. The hurdy gurdy, the hurdy gurdy, hurdy gurdy. Since I was eleven, violins always look like absolutely like magical fucking instruments to me. I don't know how people play them. We already did banjos, mandolins, and now accordion. I mean, we can always repeat. There's no, there's no law against repeat instruments, you know. There's no law against. We can always repeat. If you guys feel like a repeat, you know, like you can also select, you know, banjos or like bagpipes, whatever you feel like, you know. This this reminds me of like this is very French music, like Parisian accordion kind of music. Harmonica would be either great or awful. <laughs> Remember, I'm not doing accordion. Ah, uh, not accordion. I'm not doing recorder, and I'm not doing kazoo. I don't care. I don't care. Uh, is that Amazing Grace on accordion? It definitely is. Yep. <laughs> this is a this is a covers one. Can you believe that there is? I, and I shit you not. You can look it up. There is an entire playlist called Jason Derulo uh, accordion covers, <laughs> and it goes for six hours. There, the entire playlist, like the title, Jason Derulo accordion covers. I did not pick that one, but is Didgeridoo Band too? It's not. It's not. Because it would be horrible. Mongolian throat singing. Is the Mongolian throat an instrument? Penny whistle might be nice. It's the best thing I love it. Yeah, the accordions are kind of nice, right? No, I'm not. I'm not joking. We. I'm not. It, Jason Derulo accordion. Look it up on spot. Of, there's an entire playlist called that. Um. <laughs> There's an entire playlist called that, and it's, uh, I don't, I don't know, it's, e it's either great or awful, I, <laughs> it's like, a, it's a toss-up. Accordion is a vibe sometimes. So is the next door neighbor mowing the lawn. <laughs> so is the next door neighbor mowing the lawn. Hopefully she will stop soon. French horn, French horn is also a thing. I didn't ban Penny Whistle, no. Should I? Should I? Should I ban it? Should I ban it? 
Phase six hours of Jason Derulo playing the accordion. That's gotta be some, that, that's some great, that's some great shit right there. Six hours of Jason Derulo playing accordion. Yeah, all right, I can get behind that. Uh, bad Penny Whistle covers playlist. <laughs> Penny Whistle is just Irish music. I like Irish music, I think it's cool. Oh God, I'm almost out of white. I feel like when I bought Thread last, I should have bought white. Um, I'm, always, I'm always out of some color. I'm always out of some color or other. Um, yeah, this, this rolled hem is just, oh, the worst. The worst. I'm super tempted to just go over it again, so it kind of like, it rolls it again. Um, but, yeah, this is genuinely, look at, look how bad that is. Like, it looks, it looks alright from here, and then like, you look at that and it's just like, ha! It's just, yeah, it's a nightmare. And hopefully it doesn't touch me or anything like that, because I can imagine this annoying the piss out of me. It's just so, like... It just didn't roll. It didn't want to roll. It rolled perfectly on this fabric here, but this fabric now. Nah. Want a bassoon stream? Bassoon can be good or even oboe or saxophone. Okay, you guys are gonna have to narrow down your choices. Cause, you know, we're gonna we're gonna have an overwhelmed uh, mod team trying to sort five options. We're gonna do we're gonna do narrow it down to like five options. Why is this bent? I have a feeling that there's something actually really wrong with my uh my tension i have some kind of feeling it's just there's just something and do i fix it now or do i pretend it's okay you know <laughs> do i pretend it's okay oh that's what's wrong with it wait is it is it i don't know i don't know what's what's happening here <laughs> what's happening here What's going on? What's going on? I don't... Where's my manual? I need my manual. Because I think, I think there's something fucked with the... Harp? I say harp. Violin. Trombone. Kitty gets to pick the poll choices. I guess. Or you can do it if you prefer. If you prefer. I don't know where Kitty is right now. Relinquish responsibility. Write them all down and randomize the letter. <laughs> RGC to the picking. No! No! Alright. Um... I have a service manual here. I don't think that gives me information on it though. I'm trying to I'm trying to work out what I'm looking at here. I think that no, that's mostly motor. That's mostly motor shit. I think it's in that. Serious I seriously need to find a better manual than this. No matter how many times I have bought and sold these, I have never found any better manual than this bastard. Don't trust me for that. Kitty is trying to wrangle all the instrument choices. Canon and D violence. <laughs> violence, pants, loop, penny whistle, bassoon, hurdy gurdy, harmonica. Um. Harp. We already did harp. We did harp like two streams ago. Um. What is it? What is it? Saxophone? Saxophone. Saxophone. Better how larger? Wait, what? No, no. I mean, like, actually having a cover. <laughs> actually having a cover. And not being ripped, you know? Ah! So there is something wrong with this thing here. I think it's meant to be sitting there, honestly. So I think that... Yeah, it's like, it's like it's bent. It's like it has bent, you know? I think... I have some kind of issue here with my tensioner. Which is gonna be fun to fix, honestly. It's really gonna be fun to fix. I think I have instructions on how to remove the tensioner here. I think. Maybe. Maybe. Instructions for using attachments. Fuck, I don't have the uh, I don't have the page that uh, deals with how to the the tension bullshit thing. There should be like a diagram that tells you like how to put the bobbin back in. The bobinator. But there is none, because of course there isn't. Not in this book, some of the pages are missing. It's fine. Uh, my heart will go on on accordion, this is amazing. I'm glad you like it. Table of contents. No, there's no table of contents. This, is, this manual is from like 1950s. It's like before they invented tables of contents, you know? Before they invented that stuff. All right, I think that's about as good as it's gonna go. Yeah, all right. I'm a bit, I'm a bit disappointed about my, uh, my thread tension, but 
I'll fix it after stream, as long as it, like, doesn't crap out on me right now. Yeah, I know, I know, I know! I know, we! I'm, I'm also like that, I'm also of that same opinion, because, uh, yeah, this is just... Mmm, mm, this is... And the worst part is it feels kind of, feels kind of tight. Like, this just feels... Oh, for fuck's sake, you didn't even put it through the hole, you daft cunt. Ugh, sorry. <laughs> I'm having a good time. I'm having a great time, guys. So good. So good. She's like heavy metal and find us covers of Studio Ghibli in that genre. <laughs> like seven pieces of attention units, so pay attention. Yeah, I know. Ah, pay, pay attention. Get it? Pay attention? No? Yes. Yes, that was a joke. That was like a pun. You know? That was like a pun. I understand if you didn't get it. It was a bit of like highbrow humor there, so, you know. <laughs> It's okay, we have faith in you. Do you though? Do you? Do you? Also, you just met me. How do you know? How do you know? <laughs> I could be like, I could be the worst. I could be the worst selling stream you've ever met. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. I'm, I'm here all week. I'm here all week. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> okay, here we are. Which instrument next time? We have a poll up. We've got Penny Whistle, Harmonica, Hurdy Gurdy, Saxophone, or Violins. Which one are we going to be playing next time? Please vote in the poll. Please vote in the poll. Uh, cheating is allowed, so feel free to cheat your little hearts out. I know you will. I know you will. Um, you've upped the stakes. You've upped the stakes. Someone's going to spend like a butt ton of... I, I can already feel it. Someone's going to spend like a crap ton of money here. Huh. Huh. That's interesting. That's very interesting. The pedal no longer works. Hang on. <laughs> Thanks for following Emerald Hook. Thank you. Votes are expensive, so, you know, choose. You're the worst liar I've ever met there. So mean. So mean. I'm an excellent liar. I'm an excellent liar. I'm so good. I'm such a good liar. That's why I'm streaming, you know. That's why I'm streaming, right? You, ch you can cheat, but it's more expensive with buttons now. Why is cheating so expensive? Inflation everywhere. How much did you raise it, Kitty? Maybe you raised it too much. Holy shit, violin's like way ahead though. Like way fucking ahead. Um, so that's uh, that's something. You doubled it. That that may end up being too much. I mean, we'll see. But that I have a feeling that may end up being way too much. Sorry, there's a lot of noise coming from me right now. <laughs> There's a lot of noise happening right now. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Just a lot of noise coming from everywhere. I wonder why. Vanilla goodie two shoes. <gasps> How dare you? No way, Penny Whistle for cash up now. <laughs> what were you? What did you vote for, we? Oh my god. But yeah, we've got, uh, we've really got violins, like, rocketing ahead. I almost took away button cheating as an option, but I can't <laughs> No, we must have cheating allowed for every single instrument poll. We have to have it allowed, because if there's no cheating allowed, then that also removes all the fun. <laughs> that removes all of the fun as well, so, you yeah. know, we have to, we have to have that as an option. We gotta have that as an option. The cheating is the most fun that I can have with my clothes on, okay? Ah! I'm trying my best here. I'm just trying my best. Alright, here we are. I don't know why ain't nothing it. Tell me why! The cheating is entertaining. It really is. It really is. I love it. Is this Dance Monkey Dance on Violins? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> the cheating is definitely entertaining. I'm, I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying the cheating. I'm really enjoying the cheating. We need, fl we need flutes next. You, I mean, you should you should have been there, Eric. You should have been there. It is Dance Monkey. <laughs> yeah, Violins like way ahead. No way anything is gonna catch up. It's, some person has sank a fuck ton of points into that. Don't go any higher than that, kitty, though, because nobody will want to vote then. Nobody will want to cheat, and that will ruin all my fun. Nobody will want to cheat, that will ruin all my fun. Wow. Whee! 
I'm just kind of like, ooh, going through that. Yeah. Alright, here we go. And you don't want to ruin my phone, kitty. You don't want to ruin my phone. <laughs> oh, we have to we have to make cheating enticing. And sometimes, you know, like this is how um this is how the poverty trap works as well, kitty, uh, in case you didn't know. Uh, they we trick them into thinking that something is you know, like a good value, right? So you need to find that balance where people think that it's a good value to cheat, but then they end up spending way more than they think. You know what I mean? You know, that's the poverty trap right there. Shower 40, thank you so much for that. Thank you. Uh. So yeah, we have to trick people into thinking that it's good value to cheat. Eh, what was that? No, that was fine. See? Daniel's like, you're not a good liar. Look at me, look at me. I'm cunning and deceptive. Maybe that was me four streams ago when I bullied you into bagpipes. I actually really liked bagpipe stream. I thought bagpipe stream was awesome. You know? Vote manipulation. That's right, that's right. That's right. I'm gonna go right into that. We're planning to take down the government again? Yes. Yes. Yes, we are. Especially tomorrow. Like, I'm really looking forward to that. Really looking forward to tomorrow. Um, yeah, right? <gasps> You're still so mean to me. It's like unjustifiably mean, Daniel. I'm gonna ban you from my stream, because you're mean. You're a bully. We don't tolerate bullies here. We don't tolerate bullies. Looks like... Oh my god. All, that, all those points spent just to tie it between harmonica and violins. Well, guess what? Guess what, guys? I'm not gonna pick. We're gonna have another poll. We're gonna have another poll. Kitty, prepare the poll. Prepare the poll and lower the cheating to 500 buttons. <laughs> Just violin and harmonica. No, are you gonna, I'm gonna force you to pick. I'm gonna force you to pick. This is fucked up. What the shit? I can barely gather this. What the fuck? I can barely ga gather this shit. What is this? What is this? That's evil. <laughs> okay, guys. Place your bets, guys. Place your bets. This is the final call as to, to which instrument we're going to play tomorrow. So I'd be with violins and harmonica. Okay, you just try and find a playlist that's both of those things, okay? It's hard. It's too hard. It's too hard. Peace out, chat. <laughs> Goodbye forever. You're in the hamper now and there's no getting out. Cunning and deceptive, she says. Oh, pointing out where she was deceptive. Look, I... <laughs> I'm like a transparent kind of deceptive, okay? Like a... My, my deceptiveness is transparent, okay? Just leave me alone. <laughs> bluegrass music. Oh, I suppose. I hate bluegrass, though. My god. And before another tie. There better not be another tie. There better not be another tie. Keep it balanced, force the music. No! No! <laughs> if there's another tie and you waste your buttons on a tie, we're just gonna keep going, aren't we, kitty? We're just gonna keep going until until we pick a winner. So I mean, it's your own it's your own buttons that you're wasting. It's your own buttons that you're wasting. You're not wasting my buttons, you know? Fiddling but same instrument. <laughs> you're the boss. You're the boss. You can't lie well, but it's nice and refreshing. I couldn't lie.